Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to a new video. Today we're going to be discussing the game Ill, which is currently in development. I recently uploaded a video on this subject, but I had a few important facts wrong and I really wanted to redo it, so this is going to be that video. I want to make it clear that I'm not being a hater to this game and I really do want it to come out, but I also want to warn people of the chance that it just may not happen or may not be in development. Like many of you, my first footage of this gameplay came from Oleg Devenko, otherwise known as Chuvaback, and that was the footage shown here. Now for many of us, this is what sort of kicked off the start of the ill game. At the time, Chuvaback was uploading a whole bunch of 3D renders that he had created, sort of showing up some mock-ups of what the game will be about. One of these was the footage on the screen as I speak, and in the description you could see that this was a concept trailer, not actual gameplay, but it demonstrated what the gameplay would be like, but it was not in full development yet, but they were working on a demo. Currently, this is the only gameplay that exists, which I'll show on the screen now. You there, Mike? I made my way in. Found some sort of administrative room. It's a total mess here. Shit. They were really rushing out of their work day. Alright, head to the dome. It might be your only way down. Resident Evil fans would have recognized Nick Apostolidis' voice, who voices Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. Unfortunately, it only looks like he was doing the voice of this teaser and nothing else, so I don't think we'll be seeing any more of him if this game does release. And there it stands, that's the gameplay that's been released for this game that's on their official channel, and that was released in December 2021. Now I can already see all the ill fanboys coming in here and typing up a storm going, Yeah, the game's coming out, it's, 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 it's working on it. And yes, I get it, like I understand you're sensitive about it, but the fact is that these guys need to release more. They, they, they need to, to give a bit more to the community. People are giving them lots of money and they have given nothing back. And that's my main concern and that's the whole point of this video. Is that all they've ever shown are renderings done in Unreal Engine of what the game should look like and yet there has been zero gameplay besides the initial thing they've put up on their YouTube channel. From what I can see all their social medias went quiet around the December 2021 mark. Some of the developers do still upload clips of different things they're working on but none of it has to do with ill. And from what I can see on their Patreon is that they've been trying to work out or work with a publisher on getting the game sorted. And I really hope this isn't a lie and I hope that it is true, but it is taking quite some time. Now I'm not familiar with this process, so this could be a perfectly normal amount of waiting time. Could even take longer, I, I have no idea. But I do know that small companies need to be tweeting about this sort of stuff. They need to be on social media, they need to be promoting this stuff. They would have been able to speed up absolutely everything if they had kept posting and updating people of what their movements were. It didn't have to be gameplay, it didn't have to be anything like that. A simple message every now and then just to say, hey, we're working on this, you know, here's where we're at, here's our goals, whatever. But there has been nothing. Five months ago, Vera Hin uploaded a video called Lua Behind the Scenes. This was a 3D render of something personal he made. Now this was completely unrelated to Ill. However, he did reply in the comments to some people explaining that he is still working on the video game called Ill. Now this is great news for those fans out there who are excited for this game. I don't think he would be trying to bring this subject up if it wasn't still happening, so that's something positive. It still doesn't explain why they haven't accessed any of their social medias and, you know, updated anyone on it. But, you know, it's something I guess. While we're on the topic, can we stop re-uploading the game footage onto our own channels and pretending that it's new gameplay? You're tricking a whole bunch of new people into thinking this is new gameplay when it's not the case. And yeah, I get it, like, it's good for the game and good for the development if it is being worked on. But so is posting on social media. That would have sorted a lot of monetary problems. I think something that did come across the wrong way was the initial renderings of the gameplay. I understand that these were concepts, but a lot of people thought this was actual gameplay. And I'm sure this probably got a lot of people to sign up to their Patreon thinking that this was actually footage of the game being created. Now you can reply and say, oh, how, how didn't they know? It's so obvious. But a lot of people who aren't in game development wouldn't know any better. They would be thinking that this is the next generation of stuff coming out. This is how it's supposed to look. And I think the fact that, you know, this isn't actually a thing has sort of tickled people the wrong way. I think another big issue with this whole thing is that some of the devs are uploading footage of other things they've created that aren't related to the game. Now I respect the fact that, you know, they may want to work on personal things and whatnot, but if you're not uploading footage of the actual thing you're working on, 
it, it's not a great look. So in wrapping everything up, I, I do think this game is coming out and I do think it is being worked on. However, I do think it is the perfect example of how not to manage your social media and your PR with your fans. The team would have had far more funding and in turn made way more progress if they kept uploading different clips onto their YouTube and generating more hype, in turn making more Patreons to help fund the game, but instead they've done absolutely nothing in that regard. They've kept it absolutely silent and only updated their Discord possibly and their Patreon. I think the Patreons should be seeing demo gameplay at this stage already, and I think the general public should at least be seeing updates in text at the bare minimum. So there you have it guys, hope you uh, enjoyed this little wrap up, hope you guys have a great one, appreciate a like if you want to give me one, and I'll see you guys next time.